Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about chapter 7, the kinetic model of matter. So, to recap from your SEC2 work, these are the three states of matter. The first one is a solid, the second one is a liquid, and the third one is a gas. All substances are matter. Any material which occupies space and has mass. The kinetic theory of matter states that all matter is made up of a large number of atoms or molecules which are in continuous motion. When the temperature increases, the thermal energy of the particles or molecules will increase and the particles will move faster. The particles will gain kinetic energy. So let's recall the different states of matter and what are their properties. So for solid, the shape is fixed. The liquid, the shape is not fixed and it takes the shape of the container. Gas is not fixed and it will expand to take the shape of the container. The volume of a solid is fixed. The volume of a liquid is also fixed. But the volume of a gas is not fixed and it will expand to fill the whole container. A solid cannot be compressed. A liquid also can't be compressed. However, a gas can easily be compressed, just like how you would squeeze a balloon. A solid is both hard and dense. Liquid is not hard. However, it is dense. Gas would be not hard and not dense. Solids do not flow. Liquids flow and gas also flows. So let's take a very common example called water. Water exists in three states of matter. Solid in ice form, liquid in water form, and gas or vapor which is in steam form. If it goes from solid and it becomes liquid, this process is called melting. If it goes from liquid, gas, this process is called boiling or evaporation. If it goes from gas to liquid, this process is called condensation. If it goes from liquid to solid, this process is called freezing or solidification.